if f of x equal x plus 1 and g of x equal 2x minus 3, then the value of f of g of 5 is one of these options. Let's look at one particular method we could actually use, which is to find f of g of x. Form an expression for f of g of x. Once we form an expression for f of g of x, we can then replace the x with 5. In fact, we'll be finding f of g of 5 in that instance. Now, the first function we're seeing is f. So we're going to write the f function, which has been given to us, which is f of x being equal to x plus 1. Then we're going to look at the second function. This is the first function. We're going to enter the second function into it, which is the g of x function. So where we have x, we're going to be able to input the other function into it, the g function into it. So we have, I have x here, I'm going to replace x with the g function. Now the g function, look right here, g of x, is equal to 2x minus 3. So two, I'm going to let 2x minus 3 represent g of x. In fact, g of x is equal to 2x minus 3. So 2x, 2x minus 3, I'm going to replace it with replace x with it, 2x minus 3. So in fact, what am I really saying here is f of, f of g, because 2x minus 3 is g of x. So f of g of x is equal to, now I replace x with 2x minus 3 on the left hand side of the equation here. So this x, replace it as well with 2x minus 3. So we're basically replacing x on both sides. What is the right hand side that I'm more interested in? So let's simplify over here, simplify over here. If we want to remove bracket, there should be a number in front. And so we're going to put a 1 there. So 1 times 2x is 2x. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So we have removed the bracket. We can put back the plus 1. And this will be give this will equal to 2x. And the negative 3 plus 1, that's be negative 2. So we can clearly see that that what? That f of now remember the 2x minus 3. 2x minus 3 is really what? g of x. So this is really f of g of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Now remember we are asked to find f of g of 5. So I can write this as f of g. And we have x, I put the 5 there. And so I'm going to replace 5, replace x, sorry, with 5. So wherever I have x, I'm going to put 5. So this is 2 times, and we're working with this over here. So it's 2 times the x value, which is 5, minus 2. Now 2 fives is 10, and 10 minus 2 gives us 8. Alright, so that's 8. So our answer is 8. So that's one method. Okay, what's the other method? The other method in finding what f of g of 5 is, is to work out what we're seeing here, closest to the 5 is g, so we can work out this, we can work out this, what g of 5 is, what g of 5 is, and whatever value g of 5 is, we put it in the f function, which is this function here. So let's find work out g of 5. So g of 5, let's write g of 5, how are we going to write g of 5? Well, let's, we need an expression first, before we can get the value. So g of 5 is 2x minus 3 according to what's been given to us here, right? So g of 5 is, g of x, sorry, is 2x minus 3. And since we want to find g of 5, we will basically take the 5 and, in, and place it where x is. So basically substituting x with 5. This gives us 2 5 is 10, 10 minus 3 is 7. So g of 5 is 7. So again, we're going to replace this g of 5 now with what? With 7. So in fact, we're finding f of 7. Remember, 7 is really g of 5. Now, which, which function are we working with here when we enter 7 in the f function? Of course, the f function. So we're basically going to replace the x with 7. Instead of saying f of x, we're saying f of 7. So f of x is equal to x plus 1, remember? So in place of the x, we put 7 plus 1, and 7 plus 1 is 8. Again, we're working with this. 
f of x equals x plus 1. And so since we're finding f of 7, it's 7 plus 1, which is 8. That's what we did here. Again, so that's the answer.